There's also Facebook and Twitter and email and networking and uh, networking events. So my position is to be involved in a lot of those. However, there's always this balance of networking and trying to be out there, trying to be efficiently doing your job. You walk down the hall, you see people on Facebook, you see them Twittering. Where does that balance come into a working responsibilities and social networking at the same time? It's a real juggle of work-life balance. I think you have to just decide that there are some things that you don't have the time for. And as a business person, I'm on LinkedIn. But um, also with respect to LinkedIn, I think people do a lot of things wrong, and myself included. You know, Instead of just accepting invitations willy-nilly um, or extending invitations, give the person a clue as to where you might have met. Um, because that personalizes the approach, and when I accept I personalize my approach as well, and that makes you stand out. So do fewer things, but do them better. That's very that that's really good advice. Um, in general, for all of this networking stuff, do you have anything to add on that? Just the balance. I, I think too, it depends what type of business you're in. So. For some of us that are really, I mean, I don't have an actual storefront for either of my businesses, so I'm just simply online. That's just, when I'm working, I'm sitting in front of the computer. It's as simple as that. So for me, it's easier to incorporate that. If you're in a different type of business, like I used to work for the makers of Cold FX, and if I was their social media person, I would have had to balance that quite a bit differently because of all the other sort of face-to-face -face meetings and managing people. And I don't know, I think just really different than, than how it is now. So I think it really depends on where you work and, and how you balance it, because you're right, you can't do it all. And especially if you're not an online-based business, I think it's more challenging. Mac, you were telling me before that you someone came up to you at an event and said, do you ever go home? Like, So um, do you have to have no life in order to network as much as you do? No, definitely like, not. I, 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 think, I think you need to own your time. And so you need to make sure that you have time for the things that are important to you, whether that's family or you know, getting that bit of work done that's not social networking, I think you just need to block that in there and remember that you own your time and other people don't. Um, but I, uh, I do think it's important to be out there and to be visible. I think it really helps me that, you know, people see me multiple times at multiple different events and it's easier to remember, oh yeah, I know that guy, that's Mac. If I was only out once and I handed out some business cards and then I didn't go out to any, anything again for a while, it would have been a complete waste of time. It would have been useless. Nobody would, would remember me or, or you know, want to contact me or whatever. So um, it is important to be out there, but you, you just have to own your time and make sure that you're, the stuff that's important to you comes first and you've got that taken care of and then you can figure out you know, which things you can go to and which you can't. And I will also get, just say quickly, if people say they don't have time to do this kind of thing, it's probably because they watch too much television. <laughs>